The upside of having accountability is you get things done. The potential downside and what stops a lot of people from leveraging accountability is the fear of failure. And I literally said, listen, Mo, you and I, let's exercise every day for as long as possible. Let's see who quits first. I'm doing this all the time. I just don't talk about it. I'm doing this with everybody. Next Level Nation, welcome back to another very special, as always, episode of Next Level University, where we teach you how to level up your life, your love, your health, and your wealth. We hope you enjoyed our latest episode. It was Sunday, episode number 958, Does Your Success Require Sacrifice? Today, for episode number 959, the most important key to staying consistent, just a heads up, a little housekeeping here at the beginning, Alan and I just had a little comedy session behind the scenes so we are in a giggly good mood so if there's any giggles that is why alan my wi-fi is jeffing yet again but we are going to power through you wanted to do this episode and why kev none of what you just said went through we gotta read well, that. that's no 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 that's okay because it's all in the audio so we're good oh it is in the audio okay cool. yeah, yeah we're fine all right so uh just again kevin had me dying of laughing dying of laughing dying of laughter right before this so just a to pre-frame this, we are in a giggly mood, as Kevin already mentioned. Okay, so the most important key to staying consistent, Kevin and I are not very good at a lot of things, but staying consistent is definitely something we are very, very good at, so I'm glad we're talking about this. So I have a client, sweetest client ever, huge fan. Um, she was struggling with her fitness goals, as many of us have, and I also want to preface this. I got permission from her in advance to, to not only share this on the podcast, but also to post about this story. So just an FYI. All right, so Amanda, uh, my client, she was struggling with her uh, exercising daily. Exercising daily was on her peak performance tracker, but she wasn't doing it. And I said, I have an idea that would get you to do it, but you're not going to like it. She values my coaching so much. I'm so grateful. She's one of my absolute favorite clients. And we jump on the phone every other week in my coaching. And I said, you're not going to like this idea, but what if we did this? We drew up a contract that said, I, Amanda promise that I will exercise for at least 30 minutes per day. It can be any sort of movement. It can be yoga. It can be walking. It can be weight training. It can be the elliptical. It can be any sort of movement for 30 minutes a day. And if I don't, I'm going to uh, not get my next coaching session. And I told Amanda this. I said, Amanda, that's not good for me or for the NLU team or for Kevin because that's revenue. That's not good for you because then you lose momentum in your in the coaching and in your growth. So we both suffer if you don't show up and keep the promises you make to yourself. She now is, I think, 30 days straight exercising, and we both signed it too. We electronically signed it, and we sent it to each other, and I actually posted about it if you want to see the post and the full story on my Instagram. But the most important key to staying consistent is accountability. On the NLU team, all of us track our habits every single day. And we all stay accountable to each other. And I have another little story here too. Um, Sarah on the team, huge shout out to Sarah. Her and I are both writing every day, three paragraphs a day. And last night I'm sitting in my little nook chair outside my office and I'm working and it's like 7.30 at night. Emilia and I are getting ready to go to the gym in like a half hour. She's still working. And I get a text message and it's a screenshot from Sarah uh, having written three paragraphs. And I went, hmm, I got to do it. I got to do it. So I immediately opened up my, my book and I started writing and I wrote my three paragraphs and then I screenshotted it and sent it to her. Uh, took a photo. I can't talk today. <laughs> took a photo of it and sent it to her. And then, you know, I double tapped it, uh, which is liking it. And then she said she can't because she has an Android, so she can't like like it or whatever. But that's how we're staying accountable to make sure we're writing every single day. For me, it's been very, very humbling. And you know, I've talked a lot about this. I think I'm typically very good at staying consistent. That's why I use my book as a good example, because I, it's really hard for me to stay consistent in two things, mobility and my book. And right now I'm doing a really good job at being consistent at those two things. So here's my point. I've never met anyone, and I've coached a lot of people at this point, who is consistent at everything that's important. I think there's some people who are very consistent in certain areas, but very inconsistent in other areas, and I'm guilty of that too, and so is Kevin. So if you want to be more consistent, um, whether it's the NLU Fit Pick Challenge or hiring a coach, doing peak performance tracking, we have a new app that's coming out to track your habits, 
you've got to be a part of a team. It's got to be something bigger than you. And just like writing my book now is bigger than just me because Sarah's writing too. Tracking my habits every day is bigger than just me because the whole team is counting on us to all track each other's habits. And actually, Alessandro, our COO, is, is in charge of Team TPO, which is the total productive output of the entire team. And so you've got to make it bigger than you. You've got to get some accountability. And Kevin and I, there's no chance, would be consistent at 959 episodes if we didn't have each other counting on each other. Um, and I know that. I know that there's no way I would have been able to do that by myself. And same, same. with Kev. Um, so accountability is the most important key to staying consistent. And that's what this episode's about. I think of it like this, Alan. Well, I, I have a couple of things on this, but if you lived, think about this. If you live alone versus if you live with roommates, your life is completely different, especially if your roommates see your behaviors, you're going to be more likely to do things in a, you know, I remember when I lived, this is good. I remember when I lived by myself, the dishes would be piling up like the pyramids of, of, you know, Egypt. Now, <laughs> Tara and I live together and I have more accountability to stay consistent with making sure the dishes are done because it's not just going to bother, first of all, it wouldn't bother me, but it's not just going to affect me, it's going to affect two people. There's that built-in accountability. I had a conversation with one of my buddies last weekend and I mentioned this last week in, in our episodes, but he's transitioning into a full-time entrepreneur. And he said, how do you make sure you're getting the most impactful things done every day? And I walked him through what Alan created for the team, the PPT. And afterwards, I was thinking to myself, I was like, okay, you know, peak performance tracking is unreasonably valuable, but it's missing some of the luster and some of the value if there isn't accountability built in. There, it just is because the best system in the world that you're not inspired to do or you're not leveraged to do isn't going to work as well. So after I went home the next day, I texted him, I sent him an audio message and I said, hey, I'm realizing that one of the keys to your success is going to be accountability and you don't have a ton of that because nobody's going to see your habits. They're not going to see how much like your percentage at the end of the day or at the end of the week. What if at the end of every week, you and I send each other our total productive output? That way we both have accountability. I said, full disclosure, I don't need it because I have accountability with a team and the team sees everything that we do, but it's no more work for me to screenshot it and send it to you. And I think it would help you out drastically. I, the ego part of me wants to say, yeah, I can do 20 something things a day. I'm awesome. I'm consistent. The realistic vulnerable part of me says, I know the team sees everything I do every single day and I want to make sure that I'm leading by example. If people didn't see what I was doing, I would not be as consistent. I just wouldn't because I wouldn't have the accountability built in. So I think it's important. And I think that one of the, so this is the thing, the upside of having accountability is you get things done. The potential downside and what stops a lot of people from leveraging accountability is the fear of failure. It's the same thing that will help you get results as the thing that you're avoiding. You don't want to build an accountability because if you fail, quote unquote, you might look bad when in reality, even you quote unquote failing will have you being more successful if you were doing it than if you were doing it by yourself. And I just think it's that, that double-sided coin where you, if it's going to make you better and if it's going to change the way you think and you're going to think, okay, I don't want to do this. I don't feel like doing this, but blank is going to see it. Then it's going to be hugely beneficial. Will it hurt worse when you fail? Yes, but that's the point. That's the point of accountability. That is the point because we say this all the time, and this used to be one of our favorite quotes. We haven't said it in a minute. You either, no matter what, you're always going to get feedback. You either get it along the way or you get it all at once. I would rather you get it along the way by having somebody say, hey, send me your progress. And you say, mm, I jeffed, right? I'd rather you send that and get that little bit of feedback than wait five years and say, oh, I haven't been doing the right habits for the last five years and now I don't get my dream life. So accountability is the name of the game, 100%. And last thing I'll say on this, this is why so many people have a bookshelf full of books. I'm showing a book on YouTube and they don't necessarily read them because there's no accountability. I went to the bookstore and I bought all these books. I haven't read a single one of them. I haven't read a single one of them. I listen to audiobooks every day, but still, so many people buy books 
And when they go home, they're by themselves. They go to events. When they go home, they're, they're by themselves. If you don't have accountability built in, you're doing yourself a disservice, 100%. And is it challenging and can it be scary? Yes, but the risk is definitely worth the reward tenfold. I just wanted to take a quick second and give a shout out and a huge thank you to Next Level Podcasting Solutions, Kevin and his team. They have been incredible to work with, very flexible on the spot with any questions that I have or any concerns that I have. When I first started out my podcast, I was doing everything on my own. I have no editing background. I have no podcasting background. I knew nothing about it. And so I was bootstrapping all of this myself while I was still trying to take on my role as a full-time mom. And once I met up with Kevin and we had these discussions and I got on board with adding an editing team, oh my goodness, it just lifted this weight off of me. It lifted my time that I was spending doing my editing. And in the beginning, full transparency, when I was editing just my individual recordings, it was a little more manageable, not super manageable. And then when I started doing my interviews for the podcast, it was hours upon hours of me doing the editing that didn't include any of the promotional material that I am now getting from Kevin and his team, it wouldn't have been sustainable. I would not have been able to keep up with that. So I recommend Kevin and his team. They have done wonderful work in helping me grow my podcast. I have really enjoyed working with the editing team and it definitely feels like more of a team environment versus me hiring them to do a specific job. I mean, we all work collaboratively on the projects that I have and I have these crazy ideas sometimes and they come up with a solution to fit my needs. I, I can't recommend them enough. I really enjoyed working with them. Kevin and the Next Level Podcasting Solutions, thank you so much for the work that you have done in the past and are continuing to do for me. I'm growing this community and growing this platform with a beautiful team that is working for me and with me to see my vision and help that come to life. So thank you again so much. I really appreciate you guys. I've been on coaching calls with people from the NFL. I've been on coaching calls with people that were in Major League Baseball at the MLB, and they've talked openly and honestly with me about how hard it was after they left the league because there isn't as much accountability. Think about it. You have position coaches, you have a head coach, you have defensive coaches and offensive coaches, and you have personal trainers, and you, you have structure, and you have to show up to practice at a certain time. You know, And I, I think that all of us have been conditioned since little kids to show up on time, to put in the work, whether it was school or sports or you name it. And, and then we go out into the world as entrepreneurs or, or our dreams and we're like, we don't really have our own accountability. Even think about this. Your job, whatever you do for work, if you're out there watching or listening, you are very accountable. You're supposed to you know, work a certain amount of time. You're supposed to be, I don't know how you're tracked, but whatever it is you're tracked on, you're most likely doing because you don't want to get fired. This is a fundamental truth. No matter who you are, no matter where you live, again, studying people all over the world, this is a fundamental truth. The discomfort of taking the action must be smaller than the discomfort of not taking the action. This is just the human condition. So I just reached 59 days in a row at the hashtag NLU Fit Pick Challenge. And I can promise you I would not have done 59 days in a row of a half an hour of exercise if it wasn't for the accountability of telling everyone I would do it, of leading by example, of wanting this to be a train that rolls forever. There's a, it's bigger than me. Group coaching, it's designed around this concept of accountability. We tell them on the very first session, okay, this is a team of 10, in this case 11, if it's group six, um, team of 11 people. On the app, if you don't get at least 75%, you're not going to jump from six habits to nine habits. And if you don't get at least 75% for a month after that, you don't jump to 12 habits. And by the way, as a team, if you don't get at least 75% as a team, see, no one wants to let the team down. It's uncomfortable to be the one who lets the team down. 
And so this peer pressure thing has been a negative thing. Why not turn that on its head and make it a positive thing? One of my clients, last thing I'll say here, she has an app where she tracks her running and her biking, and she's like a, a marathoner and a triathlete. And there's an app where you track everything. You track what you eat. You track your training. You track all that. And she, she and all her friends, all her triathlete friends, all can see each other's stuff. So if you've ever seen someone walking around trying to get their steps in on their Fitbit, one of my other clients does literally 10,000 steps a day. And I literally said, listen, Mo, you and I, let's exercise every day for as long as possible. Let's see who quits first. I'm doing this all the time. I just don't talk about it. I'm doing this with everybody, whether it's Sarah and writing or Emilia and I with everything or you and I with recording episodes or the team, PPT. Like I'm constant. I have accountability all around me all the time, even to the point where when I want to watch a show, House MD, I'm sitting there snacking last night watching my show before and I ended up writing my book after this. But Emilia's over there working and I'm sitting there like, yep. I'm over here snacking, watching my show, and I, I keep it to one episode a day. And I told her that. I said I want to keep it to it to a ma- maximum of one episode per day. And so I just I just build accountability in my life all around me from all the people I care about most. And I think if you do that, you're just going to be successful at a much greater level. You know, I, I think the standards that the people around you help you set and the standards that you set for yourselves and the accountability is so, so, so critical. And then it becomes part of your identity. That's the other thing too, is now I am looked every week when we get, so Alessandro does team reports of the percentage that you've gotten throughout the week. And every week, if mine's not a hundred, it doesn't look good for me because that's who I am now. That's part of my identity. And the reason is because of the accountability. So make sure that you have some of that in your life. And it's totally understandable. If you're nervous to do it, find somebody who is struggling too to be consistent and say, hey, I'm thinking of doing this peak performance partner thing. Do you want to do it with me? That's another super beneficial thing. Alan, I don't know how you snack for an hour or whatever, snack for a half hour, watch an episode and then go back to work. That is not the challenge for me. I yeah, wouldn't no, have done no. it if it wasn't for Sarah texting me. That's the account. Shout out to Sarah. Yeah, shout, shout out, out to Sarah. Sarah for texting me. I can't. Yep. Can't do it. Usually I'm once done, I turn it off, it's hard to get turn it back same, on. Yeah, man. Same. <laughs> the engine needs to it needs to cool down for for 12 hours before I can start again. Next level nation, if you have been listening to us for a while, you know that we have a free course on our website that is years and years of self-improvement, personal development, self-awareness broken into a high quality hour and a half course. You can download the entire video, you can download the worksheets, you can take it at your own pace if you need extra accountability built in, throw a post in Next Level Nation and say, hey, I'm starting this. I'm going to finish it by blank. Uh, Send it to a friend. It's free. So we don't care. You can share it all over the place. Whatever you need to do to get some extra accountability, download the course, take it with somebody. But at the end of the day, you being the best version of you, you accomplishing what you are setting out to accomplish is going to require you to have some accountability in your life. We are happy to provide that to you through any of our things that we offer. Christina did group coaching, Sarah did group coaching, Greg did group coaching, Matt did group coaching, uh, who else? There's one other team member who did group coaching. Help Laura. Out here. Laura, yeah. Laura did group coaching, and they all learned the value of accountability, and now they're all on the NLU team. So I can't promise you you'll be on the NLU team, but I can promise you more accountability if you join Group 7. So Group 7 starts in July. I don't know the exact date, but we will put the landing page at the link in the show notes. There's no question you'll be more consistent. You'll have more accountability. And Kevin and I, behind the scenes, will teach you a lot of what we've implemented to make our dreams come true. Please join us if you want to any questions. If you have any questions about group coaching in general, reach out to Kevin or myself and we will put you on the list for group seven, or you can actually, I'm pretty sure the landing page is actually done. So go there. You can purchase your ticket now. It's not a ticket. You can purchase your spot now. We will only be taking 10. The only reason we took 11 for group six is because we promised someone they could do it and then someone else booked real quick, but we're only ever taking 10 people. So sign up now because we already have a list of at least 12 people who have expressed interest. Next Level Nation tomorrow for episode number 960. It's last week's live podcast. One of my favorites. The most important questions to ask yourself for a next level life. That was a very hyper conscious episode. As always, we love you, appreciate you, grateful for each and every one of you. And at NLU, we do not have fans. We have family. We will talk to you all tomorrow. Please reach out.